It's the weekly drive and voted by you the viewers we've got the Scott A2 HD for American Truck Simulator. Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and it's the weekly drive and voted by you the viewers we've got the Scott A2 HD by Soros the Virus and Smarty. Uh, so basically this is a revised version of Smarty's A2 HD which in the past has had a little bit of trouble getting into the weekly drive but with the help of um, of Cyrus the virus it's actually got in there so congratulations very very good now uh, this week this week we're gonna put this truck to the test and we're gonna get make it carry a pretty heavy load but there it is over there and we'll pop out into the we'll make it fly we'll go and fly and using the dev console now this is a large pillar that we've got to pick up but there seems to be a slight problem as you can see here, that trailer looks great, by the way. Um, it's sort of stuck on some bins and wood and shit like that. So, um, how are we going to get that out? Well, I'm glad you asked. That's really, really easy. We're not going to be able to back the truck up to that. That's why I've left the truck over here. But, what we're going to do with the magic of the dev console is we're going to basically pick it up and drive to where it needs to go. So... Uh, I'm going to jump over here. So let's see which way do I want to go. Probably, uh, probably this way or that way. I don't know. Yeah, look, I'm going to say I'm going to go this way. So let's let's teleport here. So uh, flying around using the dev console, guys. If you want to check out how to use the dev console. Uh, then just type in JNR SNR Dev D E V console and you'll be able to find that on YouTube. Very, very, very simple. All right, F9. There we go. Let's have a look. Yep, there it is. It's all there. Yeah, sometimes you got to do that with mods, you know. But this is just. Uh, I thought I'd just show you that quickly. That there is an actual slight little bug with this actual mod. So, right. So let's start up the start up the Scott. And today we have the 8V 500 horsepower with the Eaton Fuller transmission, 18-speed uh, with retarder. So, let's do the little tug test. So, do the tug test there twice. May as well, just to make sure that it's, going, that it's on. And is it going to pull it? Let's have a look how much this weighs. 55 tons. I don't know if this is going to be able to make it or not, but anyway... It's moving. While it's moving, let's quickly go and have a look at the map there. So we're going from Elko all the way down on the highway there. We're going on the 80. And we're going down to... Do, 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 down to here. San Rafael is where we got to go. So bit you men. Thank goodness it's not Rail Express. <laughs> That's a terrible place to deliver to. So yeah... All along the 80 now uh, with the new the new patch that's been uh, it's come out the 132 open beta this section here has been changed but I've gone back to 131 just to get these mods so that they can work um, if you want to check out what's actually changed I did a video yesterday for you on the actual uh, 132 public beta and that goes into further detail there on what's actually changed and whatnot. We have a look at that, you know, section of road and all sorts of things. So check that out, guys. I'll uh, try to put it up up here in the top there so you can have a look at that. Also, the mod review for this truck will also be up here. There's a little little button you'll see up there. All right, so let's uh, just stop there. And I should have plenty of room to swing this. Let's see, is that... It's got a massive turning circle, this. 
I didn't think it had that much of a turning circle. But yeah, we're getting around. Beacons. Did I put beacons on? I don't know. Yep, we got discos. Oh man, that is bad for the eyes. Look at that. I'm actually going to turn that off, guys. That is really bad, the beacons. Now, don't you pull out in front of my trailer, Mr. Truck. So, um, this week, we've got a lot to talk about in the uh, SES News, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a bit of lane sharing here. Uh, I'm just going to get this onto the highway, and then from there we can actually talk about it. Now, I can't see that trailer. Oh, we've... <laughs> we run across the sign. <laughs> Looks... No, we didn't. Oh, we, we made it. Okay. I thought we ran across the sign there. That would have been funny. And we'll jump into this lane and look, we'll start talking about the uh, the news now, shall we? While we're shifting up through the gears. So, first of all, we did have um, the uh, countryside and nature of the Baltic Sea. So that was one of the articles that they did publish uh, this week. Talking about the upcoming expansion, the Baltic beyond the Baltic Sea and they're also talking about all of the new things that they've been updating into it um, such as the scenery uh, they've really gone and, and taken a lot of detail into the actual scenery the new things that are um, that they've added in there are shrubs etc etc so um, it's going to be they're really focusing on what you're going to be seeing as in the scenery and towns and stuff like that so it's going to be really interesting so um, there is uh, they have gone into detail with adding many new narrow roads which is going to make it really interesting if you're going to be driving around there with a B double I don't know if you're going to be able to it is going to be really hard with the narrow roads so that's going to make it interesting there's also many natural uh, beauties that they've added in there as well. So for those who love sightseeing like me, 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 that's me, I love sightseeing. Um, you're going to be able to do a lot of it in the uh, with the new expansion. So that's going to be really cool. Now I'm just checking out the volume for the engine. Seems to be alright. Um, hopefully, I, I always get worried that you can't hear me while I'm actually driving along because the engine so gets so loud sometimes. Um, then they've also spoken about the many new trees and shrubs that they've added in there. So there is a large wide range of new trees and shrubs to see and check out in the upcoming expansion. If you want to have a look at all of those photos that they did publish, then head over to the SCS forum and check that out. So there's plenty of nice new photos there to have a look at. Now, the biggest news for this week is the actual open beta for American Truck Simulator. I am very excited um, to have that happen. Now, I, I did a video yesterday um, for you to have a look at. So make sure you check that out and have a look at all the latest and greatest American Truck Simulator uh, content that's available in the open beta. Now, the biggest thing that is there for me has to be trailer ownership. Now, uh, in detail, we go into the actual trailer ownership uh, part of the, you know, of the ga the new uh, update that's coming. So let me just fix that. My track IR is going to be funny. There we are. That's a bit better. Um, so the trailer ownership, you get to own a whole variety of trains now. A trains trailers there's pretty much only um, three major ones at the moment but you can configure those the configuration you can have a single uh, a double and a rocky mountain uh, and a triple is what you can do so there is with those configurations you can do quite a fair bit but the main three that they have oh there's a blown out tire there alligator 
alligator on the side. Um, there is uh, the main three that they have is the flatbed. Then they have the um, you know your refrigerator sort of thing, uh, and then they also have the curtain slider, which the curtain slider, which is very different to what I've actually seen. We don't have those here in Australia. The, uh, well, actually, no, we do. I have actually seen it on um, only a couple, a uh, couple of times I've seen it, but not much. Where the actual whole canopy slides down the up and you know up and down the actual uh, trailer. So um, it's like got metal frame holding the the curtains up. So uh, it's not a common thing here in Australia. Mostly, it's the uh, curtain siders we've actually seen. But it looks like it's an option in American Truck Simulator, which is really good. Um, and we have a look at that in yesterday's video as well. So, uh, yeah, that was uh, that was pretty good. I had a lot of fun doing that. Now, um, there is a major UI changes. Now, again, we had a look at that yesterday. It's the main menu is the biggest one. Company management screen and the dealership that's been added in there it's the trailer dealership so basically um, you can go and customize configure purchase your a uh, trailer and um, that is at the um, you basically get there is the main screen uh, I, I really think that they're gonna have to add the trailer dealer or add, just basically add an icon at the truck dealer so that you can purchase you know when you drive up to the truck dealer uh, they have a trailer icon there so that you can actually purchase your uh, trailers from there so I, I really think that that's what they need to do as well uh, whether they do that or not well that's up to, uh, to SES I kinda have a feeling they will because um, you know people will actually want that that's something that I reckon people will want so I reckon it will get it will get done. Um, now, there's also the job filters have been redesigned as well. Uh, we didn't have a, a, a very big look at that yesterday because we couldn't get a job um, that you know for our trailer. So I just drove around. Um, but the thing is, is um, there is new filters that have been put into place there, and we'll have probably have a look at that in the future when they do some more updates for that public beta we'll have a look again now uh, some of the old trailers have been discarded and redesigned now the new look of the new trailers looks so much better than the old trailers um, you know because there's there's pretty much only a, a couple of different kinds now but there's you know many different chassis types that you can use so chassis configurations of the, the trailers so that in itself basically has um, made it a lot better so it's very good to see but there's a couple that they that they're gonna have to add in there which will be uh, containers uh, dump it dump trailers and uh, other things as well so there's you know they need to add those in to make it more complete and I think that's what's gonna happen in the in the future updates so again we'll have a look at that in the future um, new roads added now this was a pretty big one for me new roads added the US 550 was added in New Mexico the US hang on a second let me we're gonna take a photo anyway so um, the US 95 in Arizona the US 191 in Arizona and then Clifton City in Arizona as well so there is um, a few new updates in that. The whole new screen here has changed as well. Uh, there's basically two major ones, and that's it. And the photo studio has been shifted down to here. So, um, yeah, a few updates there. Oh, come on, mate. You're stupid. Get your F-250 out of the road. We're trying to take photos here. <laughs> Damn. Uh, that's all right. He, he's not too bad there. So that actually looks pretty good like that. And I'll just take one just up above. So we can get an overall view. 
and we'll try that there. See how that goes. So um, that is actually going to um, be really cool. Now, yesterday we did take a drive up to Clifton City. Uh, in that video, we didn't have a load on. We just basically took a new trailer for a drive up to Clifton City and then kept going to the other side to have a look at that new road there, uh, which is, um, I actually really did like that. I thought that that new section of road is very nice indeed. So uh, I think that's a good job there, SCS. Um, they remade and redesigned a few places. Whoops, turning. Uh, example, the I, I5. Oh, sorry, mate. I'm tr trying to read as well as drive, which is terrible. Uh, the I5 and the I I80 have been redesigned. The interchange there, that's that one that I was telling you about, where they've got the clover leaf there. They've redesigned that. So um, that in itself is worth a look at. And um, also another thing as well is the power airlines for the AI uh, vehicles are optional. So you know how you've got the power and airlines on the back of the truck, which is, uh, is it uh, joining? Yes, it is joining on this one. You can see them there. Well, they're optional now, um, and you can make it also optional for the AI. And for those people who have the lower end PC, uh, that is a good sort of thing to have on there. Um, so you can turn it on and off, you know, so that way it doesn't make you, your PC chug too much. But they've also optimized the graphics, graphics capabilities as well. Renderings are a bit better. So, you know, I'd give it a try. And then if it doesn't work, you can always switch it off. So, yeah, for those people who are using laptops and, um, you know, lower end PCs, at least give it a try. See if it works first. Um, yes, and then uh, rendering speed up as well, which we also just mentioned, uh, which is also a very, very good uh, enhancement there. So if they can do that rendering speed up here and there, then that'll really make a big difference to the game. Even if it's only small, it makes a big difference. Um, so option for automatic parking brake. Oh, oh man, you remember how I kept complaining about that parking brake keeps, keeps coming on every time I go out of the menu or wherever? Um, well, they've turned that off. But if you did like it, uh, you can actually enable that on there. So it, it is off by default. Thank goodness. That was a big pain. I hated that. Drove me nuts. Uh, and then last but not least, we have the long 53-foot trailers of 40-plus foot from uh, Kingpin to Rear Axle. Uh... Let's hang on, trying to get that straight. Uh, forbidden in California. So um, whether it's going to... I'm going to have to try this out, I think. Whether it's going to actually... You're going to get a cop will, you know... The, you know, give you a fine or something. Or or whether it's just... When it says forbidden, it just won't give you a load, you know. I think that's probably going to be it. You won't be able to get loads for, um, you know, 40 plus feet trailers. So... Oh, well, you know, no problem. If you got a, uh, you know, a, a triple on there, you just stick to certain areas, don't you? Make it easy. Uh, but there'll be patches, I reckon, that'll fix that. So somebody will make a mod that will alter it so that you will be able to, you know, use any size trailer anywhere. I'd say that'll happen pretty soon. Won't take mod as long to fix that up. And also with the trailer sizes as well, I reckon they'll fix it up so that you'll be able to use any trailer anywhere. Um, not that it's actually going to be as realistic, but it'll allow people the option to get trailers wherever they want to go. Um, I think I'm going to leave leave mine the way it is, you know, the way that SCS intended it to be. Um, but that's uh, each to their own, really. It's your game you can do whatever you want with it really as far as I'm concerned if you want to have it with um, you know TIE fighters driving down the street have it with TIE fighters driving down the street it's your game there is a mod for that actually <laughs> we tried that out in the past <laughs> 
Oh, so that's pretty much it for the SCS news. Don't forget, guys, if you want to check out the latest open beta uh, information, then uh, I have done a video for that yesterday, uh, and I'll try and put that into uh, up the top here. There's a little little bubble, little white dot there with an exclamation mark. Click on that, and it should. Uh, there's a list there of mods. Uh, sorry, of videos. If you click on that, it'll show you the uh, the videos I'm talking about in this video. So there we go. Um, so what else has been happening this week? Well, um, as many of you know, I uh, have been doing a lot of jobs for Toyota in the past year. So what's going on here? Oh, look, that guy's going to do the uh, the barriers. Be good if we could see that set up, eh? Um, but the company that I work for lost the contract, and so this was my last week for working for Toyota. So next week I'll be just doing normal um, other jobs around the place, which is fine by me. You know, there's plenty of other contracts to do. Uh, we got the contract for IKEA. We got the contract for Super Cheap recently. Um, plenty of plenty of jobs for us to do, so I'm not too bothered. And I've heard along the grapevine, my boss is looking for a brand new truck for me. Well, not brand new, probably. When he says brand new, he means new to me. <laughs> it's not brand new. Could be a rusting pile of turd, um, but he'll call it brand new. So we'll just wait and see exactly what it is. My guess is it's probably going to be a Hino and a 16 pallet job. Um, and I have heard... I have heard another rumor that my other boss said he's asked for me to carry, have a trailer as well, so another 10 pallet trailer on the back. So that's going to be interesting. Um, because there's a job that's needed for, um, you know, for 20, about 22 pallets, I believe, which is just a standard trailer, but um, my boss doesn't have. Uh, prime movers he's just got the rigids which stupid I said to him get a bloody get a prime mover and I'll drive it wherever you want it to go and I'll take whatever trailers you want so I, w I wish he'd do that but he won't <laughs> oh, um, what else what else exciting things have uh, have happened uh, my my um, a86 guys is still in the workshop I know it's been about three weeks it's been there but they're really trying to nut it out there's a problem that they're just having trouble with and it's uh, driving them nuts they've re they had the problem with the distributor all right the distributor wasn't firing they fixed all other problems okay but the distributor whenever it heated up it just kept you know c cylinder one just wouldn't fire so it would basically stall. Uh, now what I think they're trying to do now is they're ta uh, removing the distributor and adding in a coil pack. Uh, and that's the last option that they can do. And hopefully with the new computer that they've gone and put in there that I forked out for, jeez. Well, it was okay. I mean, it's a, um, a Link Atom is what it is, the computer in there from New Zealand. Um, apparently that's going to control the engine completely so which I'm happy with it's a lot better than the standard one that uh, came with even though um, you know the the standard one was meant to be quite good and I paid for it and it didn't work that's the only problem um, but anyway it's it's I now got a new uh, ECU for the actual car and they'll be uh, they've, they've installed it and just trying to get this little bug with idling now because it just all of a sudden it just goes it's it's idling like and then all of a sudden it just goes like that and then just stalls so um and that's because that cylinder one stops firing all of a sudden so really weird never heard of that before but apparently it's quite common in uh older vehicles there you go. Older distributor vehicles. And uh, the only way to fix that, or the best way to fix it, 
is to either rebuild the distributor or put in a um, a coil pack, a more modern coil pack. So I didn't know you could do that to be honest, but apparently you can, which is going to be good. Um, I, I think it's actually isn't it a more modern coil pack mo mo uh, meant to make it fire better or something? I don't know. Give a better response. I don't know. Not sure, but anyway, it's going to be fun when it's finished. Um, I will be. I have got some video of the the car, but it's just when it's you know with problems. So I don't know if you really want to see that or not. I'm trying to get uh, a video of it on the dyno because it's been it's been living on the dyno at the moment, and um, hopefully. We can get some where it's actually running on the dyno, which I'm trying to do. Uh, you know, when I finish work, I go around to visit them. There we go. Come on, baby. Now, um, I, I do read your comments through the week, guys. Uh, sometimes I can't actually respond to them because I'm at work. Um, but... I've, uh, there was a comment that, you know, I've been thinking a lot about this week where they're actually, and it does come up a bit, where people tell me about going up a hill and I, you know, need to prepare and stuff like that. I, I do understand, guys. The thing is, is that um, I'm trying to do a YouTube video at the same time as Drive. And I'll be honest, it's not easy. It's not easy doing, um, you know, trying to talk at the same time and entertain uh, at the same time while I'm driving. So, because I'm pulling into the in the vehicle inspection ship, we might be screwed with this one. Um, because I'm actually, you know, doing two things at once here. So, talking to you, telling you about the news. Um, well, there's three things, isn't it? Telling you about the news and also uh, driving as well. So. So, um, you know, trying to do all those can be a little bit of a problem, so. If I don't drive, you know, perfectly 100%, I do apologise, but it is really hard trying to, uh, you know, trying to do all these things at once. Alright, so here we are at the... Oh, there we go. Look at how long that is. Vehicle gross weight 73 tons. Thank you for your cooperation. Have a safe journey. <laughs> I thought that was going to get busted for that. <laughs> it didn't. Whoops. Wrong button. I wanted to push one. There we go. <coughs> All right. Oh, there's Juliet in there. Hey, Juliet. Sorry. I forgot all about you there. You were so quiet. All right. Let's try and change this properly, shall we? See, when I'm driving at work, I don't, I don't talk during the work because it's just me in the truck by myself. So I just listen for the engine the whole time. And when I'm talking to you guys, you know, on the video, I, I'm not really listening to the engine like I should be. So that's why my driving can be, you know, people reckon that I'm a bit sort of sloppy with my driving. But. Um, when I do my videos of me actually driving the truck, you know, I've done a few of those. Uh, I try to sort of concentrate, and I can really hear the the sound of the the engine while I'm, you know, while I'm doing the video. So it just makes it easier when I'm actually driving. But anyway, that's my excuse anyway. That's why my driving gets a bit sloppy because of that. Just thought I'd mention that. Um, what else has happened this week? Um, that's pretty much it, really, for me. What have we got? Another 116 cl uh, miles to go. And I haven't even turned on the lights. Let's turn on those lights. There we go. Get those lights on.
And uh, Mrs. Senior's doing well. She's, um, well, she did go back to work for a little bit, but they've asked her to uh, take a little bit more time off. So she's uh, still recovering. Her arm, uh, when they did the operation and cut out all that, uh, the tendons and the muscle and that, her arm doesn't quite work properly now. So she's trying to get that working uh, properly again. So, so yeah, we'll just, um, you know, we'll just play it by ear and just every time she tries, you know, she goes to physio and stuff like that. And they're really trying hard to get her, you know, operating back to normal. But when you've taken out so much muscle that was taken out there, that, yeah. But anyway, um, that's the sort of things that happens in life, isn't it? When you get older, these things happen. Um, other things, what other things have been happening? Um, not really a great deal. Not really a great deal. Um, broke my lawnmower, that's about it. I'm <laughs> I can't fix it either, it's broken. So I'm going to have to buy a new lawnmower. That's a bummer, I hate that. Alright, having a look at the scenery here. Trying not to crash. It's nice scenery. Yeah, we are definitely exceeding the speed limit. I probably could put that retarder a little bit, um, the uh, compression brake, the banana brake, I should probably put that a little bit higher, but you know what? Doesn't matter. We'll just roll down here. It's all good. Better touch the brake a little bit. Not too much. Speeding much? Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> Go around this guy. Man, that is one big steep hill. It really is. Can we? Yep, we can jump back in that lane. There we go. Now here's that big intersection that uh, on the 80 that they've redone. Cloverleaf. Is this it here? I think that's it here. My no no, it's not this one. It's a it's another one I think. I don't know. But they've redone this clover leaf, and it's actually looks looks uh, a lot better now that they've done it. A lot easier to drive around. And um, they're going to have to do that with... Uh, they've done that... Well, started doing that with Euro Truck Simulator 2 as well. Oh, come on. Get into gear. There we go. And especially the remapping of, uh, you know, northern Germany. It's the... Apparently, uh, from what I've been told or what I remember, it's actually the oldest part of the game, northern Germany, so... Very interesting. I would have thought that since it's a Prague company, they would have started in Prague. Right, so we got a turn up here. That's going to be interesting. Alright. I'm going to start winding it down. Oh, there's the destination, just there. Look at that. There we go. There we go, just let the momentum take us up the hill. Whoops! What happened there? Did I hit something? 
I don't know. It just stopped dead in its tracks. Let's put the trailer brake on there and try and... Yeah, look, we've stopped dead here. I think the actual... The wheels, the drive wheels are off the ground. That's weird. What's hitting us? That's, that's really strange. We just stopped dead for some reason, so... I'm wondering if the actual trailer there has, um, has beached itself. Because you can see that if we go all the way back here, you can see that the rear trailer wheels are actually almost off the ground there. That's weird. That's I'm in low, low. Does it roll backwards? No, it won't even roll backwards. <laughs> so we beached it. <laughs> Alright, I'll put that trailer brake back on. And uh, let's go over here. And what I'm going to do is quickly look that way. Nothing coming. And I'm going to just uh, teleport there. But that was that was completely beached. And we couldn't go any further. <laughs> that's funny. Alright, that's all good now. There we go. Back on the road again. Right. Well, this is actually a very good truck, this one. Uh, definitely deserves to be in the, um, you know, a, a winner of the weekly drive. It's, it's actually taken a long time for this to win a weekly drive, this truck. Uh, I've said many a time that this truck is definitely worth the being a winner of the weekly drive. And it just, I don't know, just um, maybe with Smarty and, uh, you know, Cyrus the Virus put together, they actually came together and they got this truck to be in the actual weekly drive. So, um, congratulations, guys. And if guys, if you haven't actually tried this mod, uh, there is a link in the description. Just click on Show More. And you'll be able to see the uh, link, the the mod to you know the actual uh, link to the mod, and you'll be able to uh, check it out there and have a go. So uh, make sure you do so, guys. It's definitely a good mod. I like it. It's old school, and I believe it's a Canadian truck, which is uh, interesting as well. There we go. Um, also, the trailer is in there. Um, this is that uh, the trailer that we're to towing now at the moment. So, uh, it seems... I've had a few... Uh, just a couple of problems with this trailer, being that the size of it and uh, on the map, it doesn't really sit right. But, you know, this is only with one, one try. So, uh, I'm curious to find out how you guys go with this trailer as well. And uh, also in there, there is the usual link to um, uh, Can a Dream, Coast to Coast, and Viva, Viva La Mexico, or whatever it is, the Mexico DLC. No, not DLC, sorry, the Mexico um, uh, mod. So, uh, yeah, if you, they're definitely three maps that you need to have, guys. If you haven't got them, you really should look at getting them um, so that you can play them. And, yeah, so there we go. That is our mods for this week. And they were actually really good. Right, here we go. Coming into delivery for this. Now, this is going to be interesting. It looks like it's on the road. And we got a green so that guy can move. You're joking. Look at that. How are we going to spin this around? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. i got to go find somewhere to turn this around now. Um, it's going to be interesting.
There is a service centre there, but I don't think we're going to be able to turn it there. I'm going to have to do a lap around the block, I think. There's a fuel station. Um, I think I'm going to have to go and drive up onto the highway and come back on the next ramp there again. Which is going to be interesting. Oh, actually, I might be able to turn it around in here. Let's try that. Bit narrow, but anyway. We'll give it a whirl. I'm keen. <laughs> might be a 40-point uh, turn, but never mind. that going to go? Yeah, that's going to go around. Miss that truck. Yep, it's going. It's not going to hit anything. Oop, sort of jackknife there. Oh, need to run up, do I? Alright, get a run up so we can get up that gutter. Oh, is there a vehicle there? Is there? <laughs> oh, crap. Yeah, I'll see if I can straighten that out. Who parked their car there? Crazy people. I think I'm going to hit that thing there. And then... Trailer damage one. Oh, that's no good. How do I get trailer damage? Let's have a look. Ran into that ramp, did I? Bugger. Alright, let's see if we can spin it around here. I had it full lock and it's not turning very well. Oh, it's gonna be dodgy. In my mind, it worked perfectly. That's not a good thing when you can see your trailer out your, out your passenger window. <laughs> that's the actual trailer. I think that's the trailer turning it, uh, making it hard to turn. See, we've jackknifed it there. That is pretty much... Is that it? Oh, no. Okay, let's see if I can just turn this that little bit more. Come on. You gonna let me turn? Ah, oh, I think I've. Oh, there we go. That might be it. This is gonna be interesting. We're gonna get past that pole. Yes, we did. <laughs> that is dodgy. That is so dodgy. But we got it done. That's the main thing. And there we go. We should be able to get out now. I just have to... Oh, no. Just scraped. Just scraping there. Oh. <laughs> just made that. Oh, no. What did we hit? Did we hit something? Just... I thought it went... There we go. No, we've made it. Might have been that pole we just touched a little bit. Oh man, thank goodness I don't do heavy haul, eh? Or long, you know, long loads like this, wow. 
and we should easily be able to park this now theoretically we'll wait and see eh all right there we go may as well have a sip of sip of coffee while I'm waiting damn my coffee's gone cold All right, here we go. See if we can get it in here. Customer expects delivery soon. A customer can go and bite me because I'm just around the corner here and just trying to get it into the slot. And um, I am going to have to jump out of the truck and guide myself back here because it's pitch black and I can't see a damn thing. Look out, bus. You guys are going to have to move, I think. No, might be right. Oops. Yeah, I'm just going to straighten that up. And that is not straight, Senior. That is terrible. Let's fix that up, shall we? Alright, try that again. Just hard to see. Maybe if we put the beacons on. No, that makes it worse. Give somebody a seizure. I think that should be right now. There we go. Oh no, enter to. No, no, we don't want to. Assistance. Just want to back it in there, mate. Is it going to let me back it in there? Yes, there we go. It did it. Excellent. It would have helped with a bit of lights here. Trailer brake. Forgot to put the trailer brake on. Uh, would have helped with a bit of lights, but it uh, doesn't matter. And we got 1.2% damage. Oh, well, you know, these things happen. But we made it. That's the main thing. Can't see a damn thing out here, but we made it. So, there we go. Well, guys, look, I hope you enjoyed the uh, this week's weekly drive. Don't forget that next week will be some more mods for you to take a look at and for you to vote on. So make sure that you jump in there and, and have a look at those mods. Um, we're going to have to do a Euro Truck Simulator 2 week as well soon. So not this week, but maybe the week after we might do that. Euro Truck Simulator 2 uh, week to get in there and vote for some mods for Euro Trucks. Because um, it's good to do American Trucks, but Euro Trucks is good as well. But guys, uh, for now, look, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video. Don't forget that the videos to check out up in the top corner click on that little round circle and some videos uh, will, will drop down for you to have a look at yeah make sure you check those out as well if you like this video then don't forget to punch that like button in the ass and make sure that um, you make sure that you go and check out our uh, main site there guys the junior senior gaming channel uh, especially if this is the first time you've actually been there as well uh, heaps of other videos there for you to watch so make sure you check it out but until next time, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down. And I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on. <laughs>